Hello, I am Claudia Ferrero, a certified life coach, founder of Enlightenment Coaching, and chair of congregational care here at Unity on the Bay. November topic is gratitude for all beliefs and welcoming the new ones. I invite you to visualize yourself when you were a baby sleeping in a crib. Your crib was nice, cozy, and comfortable at the time. But as you grow older, you needed a bed. This is just like what happened with our beliefs. Some beliefs may have served us well when we were younger or at different level of consciousness. However, maybe you have reached a point in your life where the crib no longer fits. You have outgrown it and now you need a bed. The problem arises when you try to keep sleeping in your curve, forcing yourself to fit by making adjustments or even making yourself small. But it is impossible. You need more space. Let me explain one an example. Lauren was a woman raised by good parents who provided for her basic needs, but not for extra things. While Lauren attended school, she couldn't join piano lessons or go on field trips because her parents couldn't afford them. Although Lauren described her childhood as good, she developed the belief that money could give her access to things that would bring her happiness. When Lauren became an adult, she decided to chase financial success. She became addicted to work because it allowed her to acquire the things she wanted, acquiring them with happiness. At 38, after achieving financial stability, she decided it was time to start a family. After a year of frustration, Lauren and I started working together. One of our key goals was to identify her beliefs and determine which one was no longer serve her. This was her moment to transition from the crib to the bed. During this transition from old to new beliefs, it is important to feel gratitude for our old beliefs. In Lauren's case, her belief gave her the determination to build her financial stability. However, she ignored her emotional side, thinking it was not important. At 40, she realized that something was still missing from her life. When working with new beliefs, it is essential to challenge the old ones and welcome the new. How can you do it? Start by reflecting on the following questions. What old belief no longer fits in your life. What benefits did it provide in the past? What limiting thoughts from this old belief are now holding you back from growth? Throughout this process, stay mindful of your feelings. If your mind begins justifying the old belief, Avoid blaming yourself. Respond with honesty, but without guilt. Once you have identified both the benefits and limitation of your old belief and expressed gratitude for it, you are ready to welcome the new belief. The only requirement is that this new belief must resonate with you. It should reflect the desire of your heart, so trust in it. The journey won't be easy, but remember, the crib is too small for you now. I wish you the best in your process, and if you need support, visit unityonthebay.org. See you next month. Bye-bye.